One day, in the quiet countryside of Scotland, a young boy was playing near a swamp when he suddenly lost his footing and fell into the thick, muddy water. The more he struggled, the deeper he sank. Terrified, he screamed for help, his cries echoing across the open fields. A poor farmer named Fleming was working nearby when he heard the desperate cries. Without a second thought, he dropped his tools and ran toward the sound. As he reached the edge of the swamp, he saw the child flailing, barely able to keep his head above the water. Thinking quickly, Fleming grabbed a long, sturdy branch, waded into the muddy ground, and stretched it toward the boy. With great effort and at the risk of his own life, he managed to pull the child to safety. Exhausted but relieved, he helped the boy to his feet and sent him home. The next day, a luxurious car stopped in front of Fleming's modest hut. A wealthy man stepped out, approached the farmer and said, I am the father of the child you saved yesterday. I cannot thank you enough for saving my son's life. I know I can never truly repay you, but is there anything I can do for you? The farmer, touched by the man's gratitude, replied, I appreciate your kindness but I cannot accept money for something I did out of humanity. At that moment, the farmer's young son appeared at the door of the hut. Seeing the boy and noticing the humble conditions in which the farmer lived, the wealthy man had an idea. He said, If you won't accept money, then let me offer something else. Let me take responsibility for your son's education. The farmer hesitated for a moment. Sending his son to a prestigious institution was beyond his wildest dreams, but realizing the incredible opportunity before him, he nodded in agreement. Thanks to the sponsorship, young Alexander Fleming was admitted to the finest schools, where he excelled in his studies. He later attended St. Mary's Hospital Medical School in London, where his relentless curiosity and scientific brilliance led him to a groundbreaking discovery the world's first antibiotic, penicillin, in 1928. This miraculous drug would go on to save millions of lives. But the story doesn't end there. Years later, during World War II, the wealthy man's son fell seriously ill with pneumonia. His condition was critical, and his survival seemed uncertain. He was treated with penicillin, the very drug discovered by none other than Sir Alexander Fleming. That wealthy man's son was none other than Winston Churchill, who later became the Prime Minister of Britain twice. This story is a powerful reminder that kindness has a way of coming full circle. A selfless 